I grew up in an age when there were no home computers or mobile phones. We looked up contact information in a mechanical Rolodex. So this next feature is inspired by that device allowing someone to locate all contacts starting with a particular letter. And they'll be lined up down here at the bottom, A, B, buttons for A, B, C, all the way through the whole alphabet, 26 letters. Now, I don't think there's enough room in here to put them, so I'm going to go ahead and move this information. I'll cut it to the clipboard, move this up a little bit, hit a return, paste, and let's see, probably that looks pretty good. Let's see in browse mode. And I'm happy with that. Now you want to do that with your company layouts and your list layouts as well. Next thing we're going to do is create a script. So we'll go new. We'll say find A. Oops, and I got the wrong brackets there. I like these brackets. And we could do this, enter find mode. Do a set field. Specify the target field as the name last. And put in quote a quote. And then perform the find. Again, you could get rid of enter find mode and set field by specifying the find request right here. Go and edit this one and change it to name last and put a letter A there, hit change, and that would do the same thing. But I like to read it, as I've said, so I'm going to delete that out of there. And I'm just going to leave it a regular perform find. I don't want to restore on that. I don't want to remember that criteria. But again, if you like that, you can remove these two if you restore it right in the perform find. I am just like this readability. I think it's worth the extra space. The only problem with this script is I'm going to have to make 26 of them, and I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to change this to get script parameter. And let's see. There we go. I think we've got that parameter. There we go. I think we got it now. Click OK. Change the name to find Rolodex. Save it. And now we can make a bunch of buttons but only have to have one script. And so here's the power of this you know, get script parameter feature. It allowed me to take 26 things and distill them down to one. So we're going to get our button tool, draw ourselves a nice little button, put the letter A on it, tell it to perform that script. That'll be find Rolodex with quote A quote. And let's work on this button a little bit. We can't see the letter in there, but that's because we need to remove the padding. Oops, not the layout objects, got the wrong one. So we'll remove all padding here. Now we can see the letter. Let's make it symmetrical. So let's go back into the inspector. And let's see what we can do. Let's try 14 by 14 and see what that looks like. That's a little too small for me. Let's try 16 by 16. That's looking a little bit better. And I think we can probably align this a little bit better. So, And it looks like the text is aligned center center. It doesn't quite look perfect, but that's sometimes the way fonts look. But I think that's going to handle every letter we need. So I'll pull it down here. And we'll duplicate it. Move it to exactly where we want it without deselecting it. And then Again, without deselecting it, we can now duplicate it. And it's not going to offset to the left or to the right and down by a certain number of pixels wherever you have it set up. It's now going to go ahead and offset what you moved it. And again, that's done by not deselecting the object. As soon as I deselect it, then the duplicate goes back to the normal thing. Now we're in what's called smart duplicate. And so we can duplicate, and I'm going to do it with the keyboard command. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And I think I got that. That looks pretty good. We'll move that over to the edge here, away from our information that we have there. Tell these with the inspector to hang over on the right side. 
And now all we have to do is come into each one and change two things. Change it to the letter B in this case, and then change this to the letter B. And all you do need to do now is go through each one. It takes a little bit of work, but it's better than cluttering up your workspace, right? Or creating all those similar scripts. You'd have the same amount of work there. And just keep going through it like this, and you'll get a rhythm going and eventually have it done in no time. Also, you can copy and paste this from, uh, you know, from uh, you know, place to place. It's no problem. Let's see how it works and make sure it is actually working. So we'll go to browse mode. Click on A. You can see we find found uh, Mina here, Cami. They're all A's. Let's try B and see what we find. Yep, looks like it's working perfectly. So your homework is to go ahead and update all of these buttons, A through Z. And then if you want, you can also do it for companies, but I'm not going to actually do that on companies. I'm just going to go ahead and fix this information over here. Well, I'll change my mind. How about we do it? And, and let's show you what you need to do to your script. It's pretty simple. It's a conditional script. We'll put in if. We'll go into here. Left words. Get layout name. Semicolon 1. Equals contacts, right? Case doesn't matter here when you're doing this comparison, but I just type because I like the way it looks. If that's true, do this set field. Otherwise, do a different set field. And that will be the company's name. And it's that easy. Now you have a, a, a script that works in both tables, so you can go ahead and copy and paste those buttons once they're done into companies and so I'm changing my mind we'll go ahead and do it as homework because uh, it's so easy to do at this point